Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel Dubby Scruffing. Excuse my cup of tea, but I brought it up with me today. So, I wanted to do an unboxing. I don't normally do this very often, but I quite like these products, or well, this especially. Um, and I thought, why not share it with everyone? Um, I put an order in the other day, uh, the other week, um, from Scrapbook Fantasies here in Australia. They're up in um, Gladstone in Queensland. Um, they have their own shop. They make most of their own products. And um, this is one of them. I actually signed up for what they call, I left my ribbon downstairs, Chippies of the Month Club. And each month I've subscribed. It's cheaper when you subscribe um, to get a heap of chipboard pieces um, sent to you each month. I love them because there's words included and I can use them for titles because trust me I have so much trouble with trying to make a title or trying to have enough letters to make a title so for $19.98 each month I get this little package and it comes wrapped in tissue paper and let's see I'll show you each one by hand anyway. Oh, there's my ribbon. That's how it comes packaged with this around it and a label. Just torn that. So, Chippy Cuts of the Month Club. So, that's how it comes. So, there's this beautiful... Does that show up on there? Let's put a green there. And then we should be able to see it a bit better. Right, so there's this little bouquet, they're really fine. But I tell you what, they are easy to paint and ink. They really are. Uh, there's a picket fence this month, which I thought was pretty wicked. Pop that up on there. There is a engraved butterfly, which is beautiful. There is a clock. There is this engraved flower and leaves. This is gorgeous. There is the word OMG, which when I saw this, I actually thought, because um, it's got that bit in the middle, I could paint in the middle of those letters and then have the rest of the chipboard. And I think that would look just perfect. There is a jar, which you could, is enough to make a uh, shaker with. Now, I've only made a shaker once, and I thought I might attempt to do another one with that. A moment in time. It's like some wrought iron gates. I don't know how, how I would put those. I'll figure it out. My home. There is a beautiful butterfly. And then what have we got? I've got the word outdoorsy. All at once. Well balanced. Wilderness, I could have used that the other day. Balance. Adventure. Right now. <clears throat> Wonder. Luck. Nature, outside, there is a little butterfly, there's a little chicky, there is some little sprigs of leaves. Sensible, two little flower heads, 
And then lots of these little sparkly bits. which would look good all over your page. So that's what I got in this month's Chippy of the Month. And I am really, really, I love them. I can't get enough of them. I really can't. And they were very nicely packaged, and then I won't be able to do it the same. So let's move that out of the way. Then I won a prize last last month and I got sent two pieces of their vellum um, snow princess papers. These are beautiful on paper. They really do like when they're backing or even backing a photo. Um, really excited to use those. And then I popped my thing here. Um, every now and then Elisa has a weekend a Sunday where she'll grab a whole heap of stock and mark it down and she'll show each each one on um, a Facebook live and you know say how much it was and then say how much it will be and you first person in first best surf, yeah first in best dress so to speak now what was the first thing I got studio light essential pattern paper pack I got this pa pattern paper pack it's got Lots of different things in it, like it's got pattern paper, beachy type things. Then it's got some three by four cards, cut like fussy cutting ephemera, different things, tags, labels, banners, other just little bits, and then vellum. Um, wording that was $14.95 and I got it for $8 so having these weekends that um, Elisa has she tries to get rid of stuff in her thing that has been there a while in all her stock to make room for all her products coming through that she makes <clears throat> like for instance the chippies the vellum paper, all the pattern paper, the um, colour cuts. What was the next thing I got? Heat activated foil. I'm going to try a technique with this. I don't know if it'll work for me, but so I thought, well, if I can get some foil cheap, I'll have a go at it. This is actually a maroon colour, and it was oh, she had it at three dollars fifty for a small thing, and I got it for two dollars. So both of those were two dollars each. So one's a goldy colour and one's a maroon. Oh, that is. Some bunny loves you. What's that one? Something else. Well, either one of these for a dollar. These are it's just a single rubber stamp. Two dollars. Got it for a dollar. The chocolate. Was a dollar fifty, so it's a chocolate being opened. I love that. <clears throat> Maybe it was those that was a dollar or a dollar fifty. That Easter stickers. Could have oh, might have been that. And then this one was twenty two dollars ninety five. So it's rubber stamps. And dies, and it's swimming um, themed, and I got that for fifteen dollars, and that all come wrapped in tissue paper. Now, in saying that, I also, on top of all that, I don't know where I put them. Oh, in my drawer. Um, I actually purchased to go with the chippies because I only had a couple of acrylic paints I had three acrylic paint colors and I've done the inking on them so I paid to get some uh, a metallic um, acrylic paint little set $13.30 which I thought was actually quite a decent price um, I'll just try and open them for you 
you don't need much paint when you're pa painting the tippies, you really don't, because it doesn't soak in and then lose the colour. That's them. And I have been trying to find a silver paint for so long. And I thought, well, they're all the colours that I like to use. Pinks, purples, teals, blues, and I like my metallic golds and silvers. So I'm quite happy with that. I've now got paint to paint my chippies. And you guys have probably seen the chippies being used on quite a few layouts that I've done. So that was my little happy mail that I got the other day. Didn't have to spend a fortune. Um, and scrapbook fancies are actually decently priced. So go over to their, I'll pop in the description box below their website. Go and check them out um, and see what you think. Um, you've seen me use quite a few of their products, their pattern paper that Alicia... Um, Alisa designs and that gets printed up in Queensland and then they they actually design and make their own chippies they've got a machine that actually cuts it all out um, they make all their own stencils design and make their stencils uh, their flares they design and make all of those um, what else is there I just can't think off the top of my head but yeah go and check them out I am extremely happy with the products that I've got and you'll see them on future layouts so thank you everyone for bearing with me. I just wanted to do this quick video to show you. And I'll see you all next time. Happy scrapping and stay safe. Bye for now.